with marigolds, one of the things that, or with any overgrown plant, what needs to be done to them, they need to be trimmed back so they'll have all new foliage coming out on them. Even though these have flowers on them, those need to be cut off because they, got, they have other flowers coming right behind them. Here are the buds that you'll see here, and there'll be buds coming out all the way around. And I like for a plant like this to be planted so that it'll have foliage all the way down by cutting it back then you'll have the foliage come out around the base here. So that's what's important. Um, many times, if the roots are really, uh, if they're root bound, which these are not really root bound, I want to cut right on the edge to encourage the new growth to go grow out. And I'm planting them in a bed here that is mulch. So I'm going to turn the mulch over and work it and the mulch is rotted it's been down about a year so I'm going to turn it over to make a good planting area and so that's what we're doing here once we get them trimmed back then we need to plant them I've trimmed the roots and so we'll need to plant them uh, the way we want them this is good soil because all the uh, mulch has been used on it put it down don't plant it any deeper than it was growing in the pot but be sure the foliage if the foliage were dead or in bad shape at the bottom I'd cut more off the top so that it would have foliage lower down now I'm going to plant them a little close together uh, since they're a little bit challenged not much but on marigolds these are going to go about a foot apart and I'm going to make a double row of them uh, so that'll be a nice showy border It's a simple job. You get plants at a very good price lots of times, and it can make uh, the landscape look good. Marigolds are summer flowering plants, so they will be good uh, from now for another six or eight weeks. So we should have a pretty show with this planting.